Welcome back to my 25 days of real estate sellers edition. I am Juliette Rivera, your house doctor. Let's continue talking about the different types of mortgages and what to expect as a seller. Today, we will address FHA loans. According to the National Association of Realtors, 46% of first time home buyers use FHA mortgages. That is a pretty significant number of buyers. But what does that mean to you as a seller? Well, an FHA loan requires that the home be pretty close to move-in ready and that four major parts are in good condition. Those parts include the roof, the plumbing, the electrical, and the AC. The next thing you need to know about the FHA offer is that the FHA appraisal is very thorough. They may require repairs that are, quote, necessary to maintain the safety, security, and soundness of the property, preserve the continued marketability of the property, and protect the health and safety of the occupants before the loan can be approved to close. In an FHA contract, the buyer is given an option to cancel or pay the difference out of pocket if the appraisal is too low. In addition, if you as a seller wanted to give the buyer seller concessions, bear in mind that FHA guidelines have a limit to how much the seller can contribute. And at no point will the seller be allowed to pay for any part of the buyer's down payment requirement. The only thing that the seller can contribute to is the closing cost. While FHA loans are stricter, they are sometimes the best offer. So be sure to examine every aspect of each offer before making a decision. But there you have some necessary information about FHA loans and what they mean for you as a seller. For this and more real estate tips, subscribe to my channel. Until next time, I am Julissa Rivera, your house doctor. Bye. You ain't seen nothing like this.